Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've had a few requests to do a bit of a totting up on what I've spent on the TT to date. So let's crack on and get that done. My wife's watching, don't watch this video. Okay, how much was it? <laughs> how much was it? They gave it to me. So to start off with, I'm gonna put a running total up in the corner of the screen. Magic. So to start us off on this epic fiscal journey of doom, we need to cast our minds back to episode one when we very first received this car. It was in a right state of disrepair, but we only paid 999 pounds for it, so we knew we had a lot of work to do. So we'll chalk up the 999 pounds on the total straight away. So moving on from that, we had to get the car through MOT and our biggest problem around getting it through MOT was the brakes. So we got some new pads, we fitted a new brake caliper because one was binding, we had to replace the rear hoses, the rear hard lines had to be repaired and the flexes had also collapsed. So a grand total for repairing the brakes came out of £305. And that leads us on to the MOT. So after a quick polish up and tidy of the lights and some new tyres, we managed to get it through its MOT. So the new tyres were £130 and the MOT cost me £40. And on the way back from MOT, that's where it all started to go terribly wrong. So the engine started breaking up under load, there was no boost. So I had to buy a boost gauge, pod, and all the other gubbins to go with it. So all in all, that cost me £32. That was for the gauge, the gauge pod, and for the line for it. So the boost gauge very quickly showed us that we were unable to maintain vacuum. So we checked the PCV system and it was absolutely shot to pieces. So we ripped that out and replaced it with a catch can install. It was 30 quid for the catch can hoses and 16 pounds for the can itself. So 46 pounds in total. Ah, hold on a second. I forgot the crankcase breather elbow from Cloud9. That cost 11 pounds. And that really frustrated me because that did not even fix any of our boost issues. So the next sus suspect was the diverter valve. So I managed to replace that for an aftermarket forge one, got off eBay, 50 quid. I also took the liberty at the time of changing the N75 valve, managed to get that for around about 10 pounds. Surprising though, what did fix our boost issues? Well, it wasn't really boost issues. It was actually misfire issues on the engine, was a faulty ignition coil pack. So I managed to pick another one of them up for 15 pounds. So in the process of sorting the ignition, mistiming and firing issue out, we also replaced the spark plugs. That was another £25. And whilst we were doing the spark plugs, we realised that the gasket on the rocker cover had failed and it was leaking oil into the spark plug holes. So I had to change the gaskets. So the gaskets were £25. The sealer cost me about £10. And we also took the opportunity to paint the rocker cover in the very high temperature paint. It was about, about £10 as well. Now, I'm always keeping a keen eye out for breakers on Facebook Marketplace that are stripping cars, and I managed to pick up a full silicon hose kit, including the turbo intake pipe, for £150. And I also managed to source from the same breaker an uh, air intake cone filter, which I managed to get for a staggering £10. Now, when I bought this car, I was obviously aware that they had issues with the oil pickup pipe blocking up, so that was always on my list to do. One of my subscribers told me, though, he thought that the top engine was being starved of oil, so I jumped straight to it, ordered the full... Um, oil pickup pipe and all the gaskets and oil, oil filter. Unfortunately, to find out that the sump that was on there had had the sump plug cross-threaded. So it cost me an extra 130 pounds to do that, more than what it should have done. But all in all, with all the parts, it comes to a whopping 220 pounds to replace the sump. Bear with me, we're getting there, honestly, not long left now. So we painted the bonnet. So paint supplies in total, around about 130 pounds. It looks right from a distance, but could probably be done with professionally being redone at some point. So we replaced the downpipe. The downpipe was 93 pounds. I bought some gaskets and I bought the dog bone mount, which I think I paid about 40 quid for with the poly bushes. We fitted the front mount intercooler. So I managed to get the intercooler itself off Facebook Marketplace for 50 quid, which is a bargain. And the pipe work cost me around about 90. And that brings us on, last but not least, to the track rods. We tried to align the car, couldn't align it, so I've had to replace the inner and outer track rods and also replace the rear trailing arm bracket bolts. So the um, track rods, inner and outers, cost me £80 for both sides, and then it cost me £28 for the bolts from Audi. So guys, there we have it, £2,609. I think that's £2,609 well spent. I don't know about you. So I think the car overall has undergone a hell of a transformation from where we picked it up. I mean, let's be honest, where this car was, the dealer was considering scrapping it, which is why I got it for such a good deal. So we've got all the major kind of mechanical stuff done. Um, I know the cam about sound because that was done by the garage a year before I bought it. So yeah, um, if anybody's interested in buying this car, because obviously the Mini is going as well, 
Um, I feel like it's time now. We're ten, almost 10 episodes in. I've got maybe a couple of hours of footage to wrap up on this car. And then as far as I'm concerned, that's as far as I want to take it. And it frees up space for a new project or maybe more. So if anybody's interested in buying this car, you know what it owes me. Um, I've got to get the tracking done. Um, so there are a few additional cost items to go on there. So I'm looking at offers around about 2750. So if anybody's interested, let me know over on Instagram. Drop me a message in, in, the, in the window below. Did I spend too much on this car? Is it too far gone? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.